Do you want to learn more about India's biggest IPO ever which may come out in March 2022? Do you also want to familiarize yourself with a mega IPO that can transform Indian stock markets? You will find the answers today. Life Insurance Corporation of India Limited, also called the LIC, could launch its IPO in March 2022. Private companies issue their shares to the public for the first time through an initial public offering or IPO. Scores of investors are looking at IPOs for huge listing gains or the profit investors get after the company's shares get listed on the stock exchange. If there is a huge demand for the shares of a company, it lists on the stock exchange at a price much higher than the IPO allotment price. Hello and welcome, I am Prarthana from Clear, which is India's largest tax and financial services platform. At Clear, we have assisted 6 million tax pilots so far. Also, I have an exciting announcement for new subscribers. Yes, we have a free gift for you. We have curated 4 of our best calculators that will help you estimate the future cost of your financial goals as well as identify the lump sum you need to invest to reach those goals. Well, to claim it, subscribe to our channel and let us know in the form that is provided in the description box below. Life Insurance Corporate of India or LIC is India's largest life insurance company with assets of over Rs 38 lakh crores. It is a famous company that sells 3 out of every 4 life insurance policies in the country. LIC is owned by the government of India and has more than 1 lakh employees and 12 lakh insurance agents to run its business. The government of India nationalized 245 insurance companies in 1956 to create LIC. LIC was created to help common man get the benefits of life insurance policies. LIC had no competition for 44 years until the Indian government allowed private players in the life insurance space in 2000. LIC's total assets exceed the gross domestic product or GDP of 85% of the countries in the world. If you make a country out of LIC's policyholders, it would be the fourth most populous country in the world. As LIC gets ready to launch what is the biggest IPO in the history of Indian stock market, let us get a clear picture of the LIC IPO. The Government of India holds a 100% stake in LIC and it plans to sell 10% of its stake through the LIC IPO. If the government sells a 10% stake in LIC, it will be the second largest IPO ever in the global insurance industry. But why is the government wanting to sell 10% of its stakes in LIC? Well, the government wants to raise 1.75 lakh crores for the financial year 2021-22 by selling its assets in government-owned firms. It helps narrow India's budget deficit, which means the government expenses exceed its revenues. Selling a small portion of LIC brings the government a lot of money. Lastly, the government will sell its stake in two stages to avoid crowding out private insurance companies from the equity market with the sheer size of the LIC IPO. The biggest step in the LIC IPO is fixing a valuation for this giant LIC that is life insurance company or in simpler terms, what is the mandatory value of the LIC? LIC is not just another public sector company, it is a giant firm and the challenge is to fix its valuation which is crucial for the success of the IPO. Here is how LIC may be valued. Firstly, the Indian government values LIC at Rs 8 to 10 lakh crore. Top analysts at Jefferies India have placed LIC at a valuation of 19 lakh crore. The government could raise around Rs 80,000 crore to Rs 1 lakh crore by selling a 10% stake in LIC. If LIC is valued at Rs 1 lakh crore or more, the government of India can 
quickly meet the disinvestment target of rupees 1.75 lakh crore for the financial year 2021-22. The government has appointed 10 big global and Indian merchant bankers to manage the LIC IPO. Moreover, KFintech is the registrar and share transfer agent and Concept Communication is the advertising agency. The table shows the 10 merchant bankers managing LIC IPO. I hope by now you have understood LIC's valuations and who manages the LIC IPO. Don't you want to know if you should invest in LIC's IPO? If yes, then please comment yes in the comment section below. LIC owns assets equivalent to the total size of the mutual fund industry in India, the massive size of the LIC IPO huge liquidity in global financial market means that the LIC IPO will sail through. Here's how LIC IPO boosts the stock market. Firstly, the LIC IPO will have reservations for its policyholders and employees and could be offered at a 10% discount to them. Secondly, lakhs of policyholders investing in this IPO could boost demand. LIC is a massive player in the Indian insurance space and could easily command a market capitalization at par with TCS, Reliance Industries Limited, and HDFC Bank. Fourthly, LIC will easily find a major place in the stock market indices such as Nifty, Sensex, etc., and also get included in futures and options. Many first time investors will open DMAT and trading accounts just to invest in their LIC IPO. LIC has a sovereign and government guarantee for its life insurance plan under the Life Insurance Corporation Act 1956. It enjoys a considerable favor amount, the common man, and it's quite likely that the LIC IPO will garner a lot of investors. LIC has excellent corporate governance which means its top management caters to the needs of the employees and the customers and the society at large. It is an excellent investment if you are a long-term investor. LIC adheres to corporate governance norms better than several listed companies. LIC has backed the Golden Peacock Award for Excellence in Corporate Governance. It was adjudged the most trusted service brand in 2007 by Economic Times and AC Nelson or Mark and has won several other awards. LIC invests Rs 3.5 to 4.5 lakh crore every year for the country's development through housing, irrigation, highways and so on. LIC submits records of its functioning every month to IRDAI, the insurance regulator in India. LIC has negligible non-performing assets or NPAs. You must consider LIC IPO not just for listing gains but for its actual value and potential over the long term. LIC corners the lion's share of the life insurance businesses in India. Many of its customers are millennials who offer the digital route to invest in LIC's life insurance plan. LIC gets 70% of its premium through pension funds which have a whopping rupees 1 lakh crore in assets under management. Well, LIC invests heavily in government securities and is a major player in the Indian bond markets. LIC is also a significant player in the Indian stock market and invests in stock of major blue chip companies. LIC follows the contrarian approach of the investing in stocks of these large companies when the stock market crashes to get them at a low price. LIC is also the largest domestic investor in the Indian stock markets and has made record profits when selling top blue chip stock during the stock market booms. Now let us have a look at LIC's financial performance in the financial year 2021.
to conclude LIC is a giant company in the Indian life insurance sector where life insurance penetration in India is a mere 3.2% people in India have realized the importance of life insurance post pandemic and the sector will see tremendous growth in the years to come well you must invest in the LIC IPO with a long term view and not merely for the listing gains do not forget to subscribe to our channel to claim your free gift as we have curated four of our best calculators to help you estimate the future cost of your financial goal and not just that but also identify the lump sum you need to invest to reach those goals thank you so much for watching the video stay tuned for the next video and take care